Hello YouTube, this is Drew 1111 Gamertag Drew 93 Sorry it's a bit dark, but I've simply done this so you, there's a clearer picture from the television. But uh, as promised, um, the dashboard update came in last night and was downloading... It was downloading, you know, while I was asleep. So here we are. I'm about to show you... Um, the new dashboard, the new Xbox One experience, to be specific. Um, I'll run. I'll just do a walk through. Um, for the first, it's for the it's the first time for me. Um, except this is the first time firing up this morning. Um, so I'll do a walk through as a first time user, um, and we'll just uh, have a bit of fun. Just have a little look at it. Just see what see the differences because fundamentally. Uh, it's it's not it's obviously going to be the same concept as the previous dashboard, like in terms of navigation. But judging by pictures and videos I've seen on YouTube, obviously things are in different places and it's a different layout and it's a different design. And you know, so yeah, we all just have to have to just have a play now, see what happens. Right. I turned it off by the mains, that's why it's firing up so slowly, as some would say. Ah, here we are. Right, let's see if it recognises me. Right. Sign me in a second. We can get to business. Right, okay. Right, let's see where we stand. Right, is that very clear? Right. Right, for the... Let's pull that out a bit. Try and bring this a bit closer. Right. Yeah, that's a lot better. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yep, okay. Let's get to it, guys. Sorry for messing about, but here we are. The new dashboard, the new Xbox One experience. Um, granted, to look at initially, um, I suppose it is practically the same in to the degree that, you know, you've still got your gamer tag sort of in the top left. Um, assuming, I think it was in the same place. But anyway, you've got, you know, I've got my background still. I've got my Gears of War background. But there are some subtle differences I can already see. I mean, it, like here, in the, this is the home page. I don't know if you can see that. If I just go up, underlined, it says home. Um, can't really see it clearly because of my background. Um, two seconds. Um, for the sake of this video, I'll just change my background to black. Um, so then we can see all the lettering and stuff. But just know that whatever your background was, um, in terms of art, uh, you know, achievement art or whatever, it is, it will be restored with the new dashboard. Two seconds, guys. Hi, guys, we're back. I've basically just changed the background to um, black. Um, so um, you can see clearly, like, letters that are shown and everything. It's just to make your vis experience visualising this just a lot easier. Um, <coughs> but basically, here we are. We have our main page and down here so basically here where it says one guy that's the last thing i was using so that's the main thing you see but let's say for example i fired up gears of war hit the dashboard button that would be it there that'd be the first thing that i've you know and it's still firing up on this little screen so it's the last thing you're using let me just quit that for a second but same goes as like the last dashboard this will be your last order of business basically the last thing you were playing on last app you were using will show up here and then if you go down these are your recent applications so the recent things you've clicked on so um, my last one was one guide um, I'll be honest I'm not familiar with what Xbox accessories is but I can only assume it's the things that are attached to your um, console so it'd be like wireless controllers and so on Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor YouTube there we are right but um if you uh, pre if say you're at the top of the page, guys, if you press the right trigger, it sends you down to the bottom of whatever 
selection you're on. So at the moment I'm on home, underlined at the top there. That's one of the the four main categories. And um, being on the home page, go down to the bottom. We have all my uh, pins. And uh, if I click my games and apps, sends you to a very similar looking page here. Games, apps, and Q. And we're familiar with this from the previous dashboard. It's not a great deal different, to be fair. But uh, at least it's easy, easy access. But here's all your pins. And uh, right, I think that's uh, it for home. Now, before I go over to community, one guide, and store, um, obviously here we still have watch on demand, FIFA 16, games with gold. You know, the th they did this on the previous dashboard, if you remember, guys. On the, to the right of the first home page, they'd have your, like, you know, go to's like little like little advertisements really, and um, yeah, that's that's it for the home page, guys. Now, if I just go left, because before I go right, I just want to show you this. If I go left down here, where it has like my friends, twelve of my friends are online. That is the party chat. That is messages. That is notifications. That is settings, and that is um, snap. So if I just go left via the home page to view all of this. So here I got all my friends, start a party chat, which you can do up to 12 people now. Um, I got my messages, one notification, just let me know my external storage is ready, S settings, and from the settings, it's, it's simplified it, you can just quickly on and off, turn your connect microphone on for chat. Um, or you could turn off your console or restart your console. And then down here, the snap, you've got everything you could possibly want for snap. Before, if you remember, that on the previous dashboard um, design, they did have um, a section for like your notifications, uh, messages, party, and friends. But now they've just brought that here and left the Snap apps as a separate feature on the left, which I think is more simplified. I think it's more, what's the, what's the best way to put it? Not so much simplified, just more easily accessible. It makes things quicker. You don't have to click, click, click to get something. It's just a simple matter of either double tap with your home button, or just while you're on the home page, turn left with your stick, and you've got your main friends and notifications and messages stuff just to your exposal. And then down here, you've got your apps. So yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, much, I'm, a much, I'm a big fan of the more simplified, easy to navigate uh, version of um, the Snap feature. All right, here, let's have a look here. My profile. Okay, don't know what happened there. <laughs> right, um, right. Basically, guys, this is quite a dashy. Uh, uh, this is quite a cool feature. Now, if you click on a friend and then go down to view profile, this is very new. Um, basically, I'm getting the impression from like looking at other, looking at quite a few people's now. Um, Whatever their their dashboard color is, like mine's red, um, like 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 for my tiles and stuff like that. You can choose a color. It comes up here, and usually your avatar comes up. You must not have one, um, but let's have a look at somebody else. Um, let's have a look at this guy. Right, that's his game. That's his gamer pick. I don't know if he even has a a, da a avatar, but I'll show you mine for a second because I definitely have an avatar. Um. Well, th this is like, th this is a cool way of just showing everything in a quite simple fa simple fashion, anyway. But for whatever reason, it's not showing my avatar, which it was earlier. Um, not that I had a great deal, a great you know, a, a long go on the dashboard. I just had a little mess around. But anyway, let's get back to more important things, anyway. But still, like the layout, this like to click on someone's name and have a and 
like you've got the fee like say this is like someone i've just clicked on um you've got your main info so like you know how many followers friends your bio um appear offline customized profile then to your right you've got your feed so like you know your last like the last achievements you unlocked the last pictures you um the, the last people you added as a friend Go over to achievements, you've got your achievements in a nice, simple, orderly fashion. To the right again, you've got following and followers. Oh, sorry guys, I'm sniffling, I got um really blocked up nose. Right, well, I, I, I'm a very blunt and honest guy, um, to be honest with you guys. Um, a few times now, this is twice in this video alone, um, that I've gone to click on something and it's shot me back to the home page. Um, it's obvious that this dashboard isn't fully, it's not ready for the public yet, hence why people like myself on the preview program are using it. Um, but it is a work in progress. I'm sure that the, the final product will be absolutely fantastic. I can't imagine it will be, um, stopping you from playing your games like, um, like, you know, like the 3.0 update on the PlayStation. I mean, uh, and that's not a dig. But, you know, that is, let's all be honest here, a major, a major F up on Sony's part. I mean, uh, if, if, I, if, if Xbox done that to me, I'd be absolutely devastated. I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? I wouldn't be happy, that's for sure. Like, even this, I want to show you a nice video of, of certain things and it's shooting me back to the homepage. I'm not exactly happy with it. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I'm not a fanboy. I'm not going to say, oh, it don't matter. It's okay. It's, it does matter. You know, but I have no doubt it'll be fixed in the long run. But anyway, that's it for the homepage. That's it for the snap features. Now let's get to the next bit. Right, we've got community. Um, this looks pretty simple, to be honest. This is basically the community feed. So here we have... Um, so here there's a button that says share something on Xbox Live. So you can share a screenshot, share a picture, um, share an achievement, share a video. But here you have your friends... Um, what they've shared. So it's kind of like Facebook for gaming, really. Um, you got like someone, uh, this is a video, I believe. Yeah, this is a video from NBA 2K15 um, or whatever. You've got um, uh, Anchorman V, Ke uh, Kenny Thomas, you've got some achievements. Like if you just keep scrolling down, it's just videos and pictures of your friends, basically, and what they're, they've been up to. And, uh, right. So let's go back up to the top. <clears throat> right, so that's just community. To your right, we have one guide, which I really like this uh, page, if I'm not going to lie. Um, well, I don't know why I'd lie anyway, but I do really like this page. Um, it's so... Because I love my films, I love my TV shows, and I, I just love how in your face it is in a way. I know I know it's I know it's marketing strategy. I'm not bloody stupid. They're trying to sell stuff as well and as well as advertise. But if you go down, you've got like a nice big pin there, arrow, the new season's coming up, they want you to see that. You've got um Furious Seven is like you know out on the film store, they've advertised that. To your right whoops to your right trending on TV. Oh guys, I'm so sorry. Um, the trending on TV because I've got the TV tuner built in. It has like what's trending, and then down here, which is the more important thing, they've got the top comedies downloaded, the top popular shows downloaded, the top dramas downloaded, new in TV, so all the new stuff that's out, critically acclaimed, and it's just, it's just simple. That's one way to put it, guys. It's just simple. Um, so live TV, you click on that. No, I'm on my one guide. Let's see how quick this is now. I will be honest though, guys. Um, again, um, you know, I'm 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 just an honest guy. Um, I know it's a work in progress. I know this is the preview for preview members. I understand that, so it's not finished. It's not ready for the public. It's not nearly ready. You can tell already, but. I'm not seeing the speed side of it. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'm not saying the old dashboard was slow, but the, the, I, I wouldn't go to say that this is particularly fast. Like, I, I have no doubt in the long run it'll be faster, um, but I wouldn't say at this particular moment in time it's lightning quick. But, um, but yeah, here we have live TV, so you can click on that, get to your one guide and watch live TV. Um movies from all apps so you can click on that um 
do 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 like this. This is what I'm talking about. It's like from what I've read about the, 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 how quick it's been and how quick it is, I, I would have expected this to have been loaded by now. Like, like I don't know what I'm waiting for. You know, I'm trying to show you guys. Let me just pause that a second. Give it so then I'm not wasting your time. Right, guys, I'm just going to continue as if as if you know I'm going to overlook this because um, I'll be honest. Um, at this point in time, I'm not like absolutely out of this world impressed by what I'm seeing. Um, it's very buggy. Um, I mean, that's the live TV and movies from all apps I've tried to click on now, and it's just not loading. So um, I'm just going to show you. Because uh, you've got to take this into account, guys. This is the preview. So the full product will not be this buggy, I can assure you. I mean, I can't say for certain, but I can absolutely 99.9% .9 assure you. So I'm just going to go ahead and just point and you just got to assume what it'll do <laughs> in the long run but um yeah that's live tv movies tv shows app channels and uh, my movies from your library and moving on right this is what i like here up here if you see before i click on it it says store but once you go across the store the store button disappears and then you've got games apps movies and music so it just makes it, it's quite a neat feature, I think. So again, like if I show you, there's store, and you'll see it just expand when I go over to it. There we are, games, apps, movies, and music. And once again, guys, just like the movies, um, just like the One Guide page, I absolutely love how open and in your face this is. And agreed, yes, it is very good marketing strategy. Like in your face, Halo. Get ready to experience the most dramatic Halo story to date. Boom, in your face. It makes you just want to buy it. <laughs> I've already secured my copy and I look at that and I want to buy it again. It's that it's that kind of like in your face marketing strategy. But it's it's very open and it keeps you up to date and it looks very, very colourful and and it looks very good. I mean, like here you've got your main like titles, the ones that are either coming, pre-order this, and then down here you'll have um so browse all games, search all games. Again, I'm not gonna click so I don't wanna waste your time waiting lo on loading anymore. Um it's safe to say this dashboard needs some work, but for the main layout I can at least show you. But yeah, browse all games, search all games, so you can assume what you have to do, you search, click on a get click a game's name in and it comes up. New releases, Monkey Pirates, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Elite Dangerous, Rock Band, and See All. I'm not going to click it. We both know why. Um, <coughs> Rise of the Tomb Raider Deluxe Edition. That'd be interesting. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see, guys, you know, top rated. You've got Shadow Mordor, Tomb Raider Def Definitive Edition, Mortal Kombat, The Witcher. See All in the corner by there. Don't need to do that. Right, so that's the game section. Let's go to apps. Um, a little less interesting on my part. I don't use a great deal of apps. The only app I use is maybe Netflix and the Halo channel. But again, simplified, all in your face. It'll show you the new apps that are available. Um, browse all apps, search all apps, and new releases, see all. There we are, simplified. Movies and TV, same again. It's got all the movies available. Browse all movies, search all movies and TV shows. You've got the main ones that have been out at the moment. Big Hero 6. You've got Kingsman, great film by the way. Family Guy, you know, a hit, a hit cartoon. I love Family Guy. Jupiter Ascending, never seen it, don't want to. And American Sniper, what an incredible film. But uh, all that, you know, just simplified guys, but... It's just to keep you in the loop. Like it's just showing off the new the new films and pre TV shows that are available for download, and music again, not not really a big deal for me. But the same sort of layout, guys. To be fair, they have gone for the same sort of layout for everything, just basic but in your face enough to sh keep you in the loop. Like you know, you've got your Dre, got your uh, Sam Smith. Don't know what his name is, but he's got funny hair. Uh, new albums top albums and there you go guys if you're a music fan up your street but um but yeah that's uh that's pretty much it guys all i can show you now just quickly is uh if i um go on a game just quickly just uh i can just show you the snap features i suppose and then i'll end it there so this is getting becoming quite a long video but if i double tap the home button 
This comes up on your left, it's not on your right anymore. You have your press Y to save screenshot, press X to record that. So we still have the record and screenshot features. Um, we got your friends, we got party, uh, we got your messages, we got notifications, we got settings. So all that's the same, but if we go to snap an app, say I wanted to snap, I don't know, YouTube. Oh, we're back on the right hand side again. Little flicker, but um, yeah, so now we have YouTube on the right. So if I select a video, Xbox, go to Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Yeah, so now I can play Gears of War and I've got my YouTube on the right. And then if I want to get stop it, Xbox unsnap. There we are. And that's literally it, guys. Obviously, I, it's pointless me going through the whole, all of the snap stuff because fundamentally it is the same thing as before, but with its minor differences in terms of simplif simplifying everything. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, just to end the video. I'm not a critic. I'm not a horrible guy. I know that I know a lot of planning goes into these things, so I'm not going to be one of these. Do you know what? I can't stand the people out there who don't give an inch. They're they're, they're just like, oh my god, ah, oh, it's rubbish, and it's like it's not rubbish. You can see there's potential. It has got the odd bug. It does kick you the odd time, and it's un it's annoying is the word for it. I'm, I'm the first one to admit it is very frustrating, but it could be a lot worse. And um, at least it's navigata nav navigatable, is that the word? Um, you know, it, it's at least given us a, you know, a good insight into what it is and what it looks like. And I can assure you, especially when like Cortana is in full flow, like November time or, or it might be ne or December time, I'm not sure. But it's going to be fantastic when it's in full flow and it's working and, and it's fast and, and it's as fast as all these people are saying um it is going to be outstanding and it, and and it's it's just it's just easier it is easier i mean as a first time user not having used this before it is easier um i did like the old dashboard i will miss it personally but this is a nice easy navigate if if you can't navigate through this then you've got to be brain dead like if you get people like oh the xbox dashboard is so hard to use after this even though the last one wasn't hard to use, you'd like I said, you'd have to be brain dead. But um, but like you know, playing on this dashboard update, you know, I I I'd rather it be the odd little bug than stopping me from playing my games. Because I was speaking to a friend the other day from America, who um said that he hit because he has a PS4 as well as an Xbox, and he was saying, and I, I was shocked to hear this. I hadn't heard this, but he was saying how he's been locked out of playing his games since downloading the 3.0 dashboard update for PlayStation 4 which for me personally if that happened on the Xbox I'd be I'd be complaining I'd be demanding like a free years Xbox live or something that is disgraceful that is disgraceful that that is to let that happen is just disgraceful but then again they haven't got the software people like Microsoft have so it's to be expected you have to sort of give them a wide berth it's not their fault they're just not as trained but um I'm sure that'll be fixed in time and I'm sure this will be fixed in time and everyone will be happy. But uh, but that's it, guys. This is Beedrew1111, Gamertag, Beedrew93, We Game Here's Welsh Gamer, giving you, as promised, the walkthrough tutorial for the new dashboard, the new Xbox One experience. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, I know it won the clearest, but you can still sort of get the idea. You know, you're not... I guess, I'm assuming anyone watching this, you're not stupid. <laughs> Um, can't be any more stupid than me anyway. I'm not exactly the most smartest guy. But, uh, but yeah, go to the official wegamehere.com and register for all things We Game Here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and take care. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.